Okay, I I barely do stuff like this, like talk about best like this, this this coronavirus that going on. And you know, this won't be on both my channels anyway, but um Wow. I I'm lost I I'm at a loss for words right now. Like my homeboy Steve hit me up, my my uh homegirl Kate hit me up. Like the co man, the coronavirus canceled the NBA. I'm like, what? The NBA is canceled because of the coronavirus. Or, or coronavirus? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, Rui Gobert was just playing around, not taking anything seriously, touching microphones and shit, praying a joke about the coronavirus due to the fact that um they were saying that the NBA players gonna be playing basketball off the fans. So he wasn't taking it shit seriously. And end up getting sick. Like, did he get sick because of that? Was he already carrying the virus? And he was like, fuck it, I don't give you all the virus. I don't know what the story behind that. Like I said, I don't know no absolute fact to it. You know what I'm saying? But this, as a basketball fan, this, this really hit me hard. Like, I'm just, the sitting here just, like, oh my goodness, I'm just, I'm at work doing my job or whatever, I'm just, like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, really, damn, man, wow, like, this ain't, like, people, you know, talk about, like, oh man, the, you know, the Clippers, the Lakers, the Bucks, you know, like, somebody about to win the championship this year, like, one of them three teams about to win the championship this year, you know what I'm saying? My own boy Steve talking about the Miami Heat versus the Clippers. What, whatever. And like, this was like one of the best years to be a basketball fan. You know what I'm saying? I watched, like, like right now I'm rooting for the Lakers. I watched all but six Lakers games this year. Seriously. I've been watching the Lakers game all year round. You know, like, I'm a, Lebr I'm a diehard LeBron James fan. And not to mention I'm a fan of the damn league. I love the NBA. It's just LeBron James is just so happy to be my favorite basketball player currently. This generation, like it took like two oh, like around oh nine or oh, oh, 2010 before LeBron James became literally one of my favorite basketball players. I actually had like respect for him at first. I didn't like the guy, but well, you know, like they deem him the like the king, they deem him the next Michael Jordan, you know. But you know, like I didn't like Kobe, believe it or not, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. But I didn't like him as a player when he first started. I, I didn't like the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't a fan. And just after seeing this man, all the hard work, blood, sweat, and tear that this man gave to the game, I started to respect Kobe and started rooting for Kobe. Even I would root for Kobe to beat the damn Pistons when the Pistons won in 2004. I'm from, I'm from Detroit. Like, I want the Lakers to win. But the Pistons pulled it all. Like, oh, my God. You know, at first, like the first, the first three down back to back ring, I was like, man, god damn it, Lakers keep winning. But then, but then it, then it just hit me though. I was like, this man is great. You know, to him and Shaquille O'Neal. You know what I'm saying? You know, I started watching basketball like back in around '96, '97, somewhere around there. Like they're ninety seven where I first played um NBA NBA Live ninety eight. My dad got me into basketball. I started to play basketball all the time. You know, constantly just shoot, try to learn how to hit threes, constantly went up to the damn this park called Old Sage Park. Back when I was like nine years old. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, this was around ninety seven. I kept shooting threes. I couldn't make one. Until I finally made one, you know what I'm saying? I, I wanted to be a basketball player when younger. Cause I liked the game, you know. Lord Major fascinated me. But, you know, me being five foot eight <laughs> right now, and already being short while we a kid, you know, I'm like, it'd be a horror for a guy my size to do something like that. So we saw, I saw Spud Rail, Buzzy Bone, Ur Burkins, um, recently, like, people like, um, Isaiah Thomas, you know, IT, it, you know, like, you know, prayers like that, he was K. Felton did it too, 
But, you know, he ain't last in the NBA for a long time. It's hard for you when you're a short guy. So, you know what I'm saying? But it has never stopped my love and passion for the game. I continue watching it, you know, supporting NBA 2K or live. Or I ain't buying 2K like every year. You know, I bought 2K around like 2011, then 2014, 15, 16. Didn't buy 17 or 18, but I got 19 and 20. So, you know what I'm saying? But when I was playing live, I was playing live from 98 to all the way to down 2000 and down 7. This is a basketball fan, you know what I'm saying? And for me not being able to watch one of the greatest, like they were built up to be the greatest pro, like the pro, um, or pro season, like in recent memories, like the last, the last five seasons, they were like, uh, Warriors or LeBron? They took LeBron James went west and then make the playoffs. So like, well, he went west for some reason. But we went to East, like them first four years, Warriors or LeBron, or the years before that, the Heats or some other team. Like, that all we expect. Now, like, we don't know who's going to make the final. You could say the Clippers, but you don't, you don't definitely know who's going to make the final. Same with the Bucks. You don't know who's going to make the finals. And we'll be raw from this season. They um completely cancel it. But like, like, like many people said, I said to health come first. It's all about the safeties, the lives of these players. They are they are a human just like us. You know what I'm saying? So health come first, but damn man, it's still a bummer though to see this happening. I'm I'm just sitting here shaking my damn head at the whole ordeal like good God, really? You gonna be canceled for the whole goddamn season? Damn so what the Bucks automatically win the championship because they got the best record? Or you give it to the Lakers? Uh, who who ran MVP? Man, I hope this don't last more than a couple, like at least a week or two. God damn, man, they gotta figure this out, man, because they gonna cancel it. They say it temporarily canceled, but I don't know how long that gonna be. I don't know, man. This this whole thing is just ridiculous. But anyway, I'm out of here. I'm about to return typing my book. It's crazy. You know, we know, we all know that like a ass war coming to, uh, we're coming near our planet. Our, I believe April the twentieth. It gonna go right past us. Just miss us. And due to the fact that it being like three times bigger than the Empire State Building, man, that would have did down if it hit us. And then we got the coronavirus going around, man. Yeah, life, man. Especially what happened to Kobe too back in January twenty sixth. That shit unpredictable. It unpredictable. And like I said, you better make your work while you're here. But anyway, I'm out of here. I'm heavily upset. But hell, I got to keep it pussy. Peace out. And I hope you guys have an amazing day.